so there came a time in which they said, Musa, bring us the book that you have promised us. So Musa, alayhi salatu wasalam, he asked his Lord, وَوَاعَدْنَا مُوسَى ثَلَاثِينَ لَيْلَةً وَأَتْمَمْنَاهَا بِعَشْرٍ And we promised Moses 30 nights. And he commanded him to fast for those nights. So he did that. It was said that those 30 nights were the month of Dhul Qa'dah. Completely. Then he used the siwak to clear the odor of his mouth. And it was revealed to him, O oh Musa, don't you know that the smell of the mouth of the fasting person is greater to Allah than the smell of musk? So he was commanded to fast for ten more days. And then he fasted ten nights or ten days of Dhul Hijjah. فَتَمَّ مِيقَاتُ رَبِّهِ أَرْبَعِينَ لَيْلَةِ So the appointment of his Lord was complete in 40 nights. 40 days. All of that was in preparation for his receiving the revelation. And then when Musa alayhi salatu was salam was determined to go for the appointment of his Lord, he left his brother Harun in charge of the children of Israel. And Moses said to his brother Aaron, Take my place among my people. And manage the affair well, Harun, and do not follow the way of the corruptors. Do not listen to those crooked people among the children of Israel who would try to sway you and convince you to do what is incorrect. So then when Musa alayhi salatu wasalam, he came for the appointment of his Lord at the time in which he was commanded, Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala removed that which disables Musa from hearing the speech of Allah. So Musa heard the speech of Allah Ta'ala without seeing Allah. And this was a very high status for Prophet Musa alayhi salatu wasalam to be granted hearing the speech of Allah Ta'baraka wa Ta'ala that speech which is not letters or sounds or languages. وَلَمَّا جَاءَ مُوسَى لِمِيقَاتِنَا وَكَلَّمَهُ رَبُّهُ And when Musa, when Moses came for our appointment and his Lord spoke to him قَالَ رَبِّ أَرِنِي أَنظُرْ إِلَيْكِ He said, My Lord, show me yourself so that I may see you. قَالَ لَن تَرَانِي Said God, you will not see me in this dunya with the mortal eyes, the eyes that perish. But he did not say, I am not seen. He didn't say, لَن أُرَى I am not seen. وَلَكِنِ انظُرْ إِلَى الْجَبَلِ فَإِنِ اسْتَقَرَّ مَكَانَهُ فَسَوْفَ تَرَانِي But look at the mountain, Musa. If it remains intact in its place, then you shall see me. So Musa looked at the mountain. فَلَمَّا تَجَلَّ رَبُّهُ لِلْجَبَلِ جَعَلَهُ دَكَّا وَخَرَّ مُوسَى صَعِقًا So Musa looked at the mountain and then Allah created in the mountain life without giving it a soul, created in it comprehension and the power of sight and then Allah enabled the mountain to see him. فَلَمَّا تَجَلَّ رَبُّهُ لِلْجَبَلِ When his Lord, the Lord of Moses, became visible to the mountain, 
جعله دكا وخر موسى صعقا. He made the mountain crumble. And when Moses saw a mountain crumble right before his eyes, he fell down unconscious. فَلَمَّا أَفَاقَ قَالَ سُبْحَانَكَ تُبْتُ إِلَيْكَ Then, when Moses recovered, he said, Glory be yours, I repent to you. وَأَنَا أَوَّلُ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ And I am the first of the believers. I am the first one to believe that you are not seen in the earthly life, O oh Allah. And so Allah, Tabaraka wa Ta'ala, he revealed to Prophet Musa a Torah written on tablets. It was said that those tablets were made of emerald. And we ordained for him in the tablets of the Torah in all matters, admonishment and detailed rules of all things. So that Torah was revealed to Musa alayhi salatu was salam on tablets. Tablets. Fakhudha bi kuwatin wa mur kaumaka ya khudu bi ahsaniha. So take those tablets with decisiveness, O Moses, and command your people to take the best of it. That means command them to do the sunnah, which is the best. Of the worships. And in the meantime, in the meantime the after Musa alayhi salatu was salam had left to go to the mountain of Atur for the appointment of his Lord, there came forth a man who was amongst the children of Israel, not one of them. As I have learned, he was not from the children of Israel, but he was among them, mixed among them. He was with them. And his name was Musa, like Prophet Musa. His name was also Musa, but his name was Musa as Samiri. Musa as Samiri. If you put those two names together, you say Musa Samiri. Musa Samiri. But what did he do? This man was a sorcerer. Where did sorcerer come from? He came with the children of Israel when they crossed the sea. And when they crossed the sea, the angel Jibreel was there too, and he was riding a horse. So this sorcerer noticed where the horse of the angel stepped. And he took a handful of that dirt and he kept it. So this man, he took advantage of Prophet Musa's absence. And he had the children of Israel contribute the gold that they had collected from the Egyptians. And they put it, Yani, they, I forgot what's the word, they melted it. And then they formed it into the shape of a cow. So, as Samiri, he brought out for them the body of a calf. Something, a body, a creation. Making a moon. And as Samiri and those who were with him on his side, they said, فَقَالُوا هَذَا إِلَهُكُمْ وَإِلَهُ مُوسَى فَنَسِي This calf, which is mooing, that's your God. And that's Moses' God too. But Moses forgot his Lord with us and he went looking for him. Allah says, 
أفلا يرون ألا يرجع إليهم قولا ولا يملك لهم ضرا ولا نفعا Do they not see that this golden calf cannot respond to them with any saying and it does not possess for them the creation of any harm or benefit? Don't they use their minds and realize that this is something that doesn't deserve to be worshipped? وَلَقَدْ قَالَ لَهُمْ هَارُونُ مِنْ قَبْلُ يَا قَوْمِ إِنَّمَا فُتِنْتُمْ بِهِ by God, before that, Aaron said to them, O oh my people, you have been tested by it. And indeed, your Lord is our Rahman, so follow me and obey my command. قَالُوا لَن نَبْرَحَ عَلَيْهِ عَاكِفِينَ حَتَّى يَرْجِعَ إِلَيْنَا مُوسَى They said, we will not stop worshipping it until Moses returns to us. So when they made this cow out of gold, he threw that dirt into the cow's mouth. And then this cow started to move like a real cow and then they worship qala fa inna qad fatanna qaumaka min ba'dika wa adallahum as-samiri said god said god said god indeed we have tested your people after you left them musa and as-samiri misled them so then Prophet Musa alayhi salatu wasalam, he took those tablets and he hurried back to the children of Israel. He got back to them and there was among them people who had worshipped this golden calf. And he was very, very angry with them. وَلَمَّا رَجَعَ مُوسَىٰ إِلَىٰ قَوْمِهِ غَبَّانَ أَسِفًا قَالَ بِئْسَ مَا خَلَفْتُمُونِي قَالَ بِئْسَ مَا خَلَفْتُمُونِي مِنْ بَعْدِي And when Moses returned to his people furious and angry, he said, So awful was your succession of me after me. How bad you did after I left and didn't follow my way. Did you want to rush the command of your Lord? He was so furious at what they did because he hates the blasphemy so much that he tossed the tablets of the Torah. He didn't disrespect them. He didn't throw them away. He tossed them in a way that's not blasphemy. قَالَ يَا قَوْمِ أَلَمْ يَعِدْكُمْ رَبُّكُمْ وَعْدًا حَسَنًا He said, my people, did not your Lord promise you a good promise? أَفَطَالَ عَلَيْكُمُ الْعَهْدُ أَمْ أَرَدْتُمْ أَنْ يَحِلَّ عَلَيْكُمْ غَضَبٍ أَمْ أَرَدْتُمْ has a long time passed on you? Or do you want to be eligible for the punishment from your Lord? And so you broke your promise to me. So they told Prophet Musa what happened. قَالُوا مَا أَخْلَفْنَا مَوْعِدَكَ بِمَلْكِنَا وَلَكِنَّا حُمِّلْنَا أَوْزَارًا وَلَكِنَّا حُمِّلْنَا أَوْزَارًا مِنْ زِينَةِ الْقَوْمِ They said, 
we did not break our promise to you on our own. Rather, we were made to carry loads of the Egyptians' jewels. So we threw them into a fire. And also, a Samiri, he threw something in. He contributed something to it. So that's what happened. So then Prophet Musa alayhi salatu was salam, he spoke to his brother. Qala ya Harun ma manaka id ra'aytahum dallu. He said, oh Aaron, what stopped you from forbidding them when you saw them go astray? Allah tattabi'an. Why didn't you come and get me? Amri. Have you disobeyed my command? And he tossed the tablets and he took his brother by the hair of his head, pulling him towards him. See how upset he is about this kufr? Without disrespecting his brother. Said Aaron, son of my mother, surely the people regarded me weak. And they were about to kill me. فَلَا تُشْمِتْ بِيَ الْأَعْدَاءَ وَلَا تَجْعَلْنِي مَعَ الْقَوْمِ الظَّالِمِينَ So do not make the enemies rejoice over me. Don't let them get the wrong impression by how you are handling me. And do not consider me among the unjust people. Aaron said, Son of my mother, do not take me by my beard, nor by my head. He told him, I was afraid that you would say, you left them and you came to me. And upon that, Musa alayhi salatu was salam, he made dua and his anger subsided. Qala rabbi ghfir li wa li akhi wa adkhilna fi rahmatik. Said Moses, my Lord, forgive me and my brother, and include us in your mercy. And you are the most merciful of the merciful. Then, he got the story from the people, he got the story from his brother, so he goes to talk to a Samiri. Qala fama khatubuka ya Samiri. Moses said, what have you done, O Samiri? So Musa Samiri told him, قَالَ بَصُرْتُ بِمَا لَمْ يَبْصُرُوا بِهِ فَقَبَضْتُ قَبْضَةً مِنْ أَثَرِ الرَّسُولِ He said, I saw what no one else saw, so I took a handful of the footprint of the angelic messenger's horse. I took a handful of the trace of the messenger. I took a handful of the trace of the messenger. He means a handful of dirt from where the foot of the horse being ridden by the angel stepped. And I contributed it. I put it into this calf. وَكَذَلِكَ سَوَّلَتْ لِي نَفْسِي And that's what I felt like doing. 
قال فاذهب فإن لك في الحياة أن تقول لا مساس Moses said be gone it is ordained on you in this earthly life that you shall say لا مساس no touching وإن لك موعدا لن تخلفه and indeed for you there is an appointment that you will not miss meaning you will be tortured after that Musa Samiri well what does that mean so when Musa alayhi salatu wasalam heard what as Samiri had to say he scolded him severely and then he made dua against him that he will never touch anyone again and no one will ever touch him as long as he is alive. And then, after he dies, he will be tortured. And that, as long as he is alive, and he will never touch anyone, and no one will ever touch him, whoever draws near to him, he says, La misas. Allah will for him to say that. Even the animals. If the animal comes close to him, he says, La misas. It means no touching. no touching. And Prophet Musa said to him, no Look at your God that you insisted on worshipping. By God, we will burn it and we will indeed throw its ashes into the sea. إِنَّمَا إِلَهُكُمُ اللَّهُ الَّذِي لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا هُوَ Your God is but Allah, the one who there is no God but He. وَثِعَ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ عِلْمًا He has encompassed everything in knowledge. And then this man like that, Allah made him and he wandered into the wilderness. He lived among animals and everything and he never touched anyone and no one ever touched him. And then Prophet Musa alayhi salatu wasalam, he commanded the children of Israel to drink from the water. So they drank from it and whoever had worshipped that calf, its ashes stuck to his lips. And then was evidence that he had worshipped that calf. Allah says, وَلَمَّا سُقِطَ فِي أَيْدِيهِمْ وَرَأَوْا أَنَّهُمْ قَدْ ضَلُّوا قَالُوا لَإِن لَمْ يَرْحَمْنَا رَبُّنَا وَيَغْفِرْ لَنَا And when they were smitten with remorse, and they saw that they had gone astray, they said, if our Lord does not have mercy upon us and forgive us, then by God we shall certainly be among the losers. And those people, they came back to Islam. However, their repentance was not complete. Without being executed. Allah says in Surah Al-Baqarah, وَإِذْ قَالَ مُوسَى لِقَوْمِهِ يَا قَوْمِ إِنَّكُمْ ظَلَمْتُمْ أَنفُسَكُمْ بِاتِّخَاذِكُمُ الْعِجْلِ And when Moses said to his people, O oh my people, indeed you have wronged yourselves by worshipping the calf. فَتُوبُوا إِلَىٰ بَارِئِكُمْ فَقُتُلُوا أَنفُسَكُمْ So repent to your Lord, kill yourselves. Kill yourself. Kill yourself. This part here, they differ. Does that mean for some of them to execute others? Or does that mean that the perpetrators had to commit suicide? ذَلِكُمْ خَيْرٌ لَكُمْ عِنْدَ بَارِئِكُمْ فَتَابَ عَلَيْكُمْ That is better for you to your Creator. Then your repentance will be complete. 
they, they got out of the kufr, but their repentance was not complete without the execution. وَلَمَّا سَكَتَ عَمْ مُوسَ الْغَضَبُ أَخَذَ الْأَلْوَاحِ And when Moses' anger calmed down, he took up the tablets. وَفِي نُسْخَتِهَا هُدًا وَرَحْمَةٌ لِلَّذِينَ هُمْ لِرَبِّهِمْ يَرْهَبُونَ And in the writing of those tablets, there was guidance and mercy for those whom their Lord they fear. So when the anger subsided in Musa alayhi salatu wasalam, he took those tablets that had the Torah written in them. And he commanded the children of Israel to, to take them, to accept them, to take them with determination and definitiveness. So they said to him, spread them out for us. If its commands and prohibitions are easy, then we will take it. So he said to them, accept it, unconditionally meaning. So then they looked at what's there again and again, not wanting to accept what's in the Torah, seeing its obligations and its prohibitions. At that at their hesitation to accept that Torah, Allah Ta'ala commanded the angel to uproot a mountain, pull a mountain out, and to carry that mountain over them like it's a cloud over their heads. So it was said to them, if you do not accept this, then this mountain shall fall upon you. Accept this Torah or have this mountain dropped upon you. So they accepted it. And they were commanded to prostrate, so they fell down in prostration. Allah says, وَإِذْ نَتَقُنَا الْجَبَلَ فَوْقَهُمْ كَأَنَّهُ ظُلَّهُ And mention when we made the mountain be pulled out and hung over them as if it were a canopy or some sort of shade, shading thing. وَظَنُّوا أَنَّهُ وَاقِعٌ بِهِمْ and they feared that it was going to fall upon them. It was said to them, take hold of what we have given you with determination. And be mindful of what is in it so that you would fear God. So they fell down in sujood, but they were so afraid that they fell down in sujood on one half of their face. So that with the other half, they could look up and see that mountain over them, out of fear that it would come down and crush them. And they said, Sami'na wa ata'na, we hear and we obey. After that, Prophet Musa, alayhi salatu was salam, he chose 70 men. It was said that they were scholars among the children of Israel. And his brother Harun went with him, as well as Yusha, to Mount Sinai. And Moses chose out of his people 70 men for our appointment. فَلَمَّا أَخَذَتْهُمُ الرَّجِفَةُ قَالَ رَبِّ لَوْ شِئْتَ أَهْلَكْتَهُمْ مِنْ قَبْلُ وَإِيَّاي Then, when the quaking overtook them, he said, My Lord, had you willed, you would have destroyed them previously for worshipping the calf, and you would have destroyed me too for killing that man back in Egypt. Do 
Would you destroy us for what the fools among us have done? In hiya illa fitnatuk. It is not but your trial. That fitna, that tribulation, belongs to you, O Allah. Tudillu biha man tasha wa tahdi man tasha. You misguide by it whomever you will. And you guide by it whomever you will. You are our protector, so forgive us and have mercy on us, and you are the best of the forgivers. وَاكْتُبْ لَنَا فِي هَذِهِ الدُّنْيَا حَسَنَةً وَفِي الْآخِرَةِ And ordain for us good in the earthly life and in the afterlife. إِنَّا هُدْنَا إِلَيْكَ Surely we repent to you. Here. إِنَّا هُدْنَا إِلَيْكَ They said, we... Hudna, we have repented. It was said that for this reason they were called Al Yahud. According to that, Al Yahud means those who repented. And other than that was said why they were called that. Etc. until the end of the ayah. And insha'Allah ta'ala, let's uh, finish our story tonight with. The mentioning of the cow that the children of Israel were commanded to slaughter. That cow for which the second chapter of the Quran is named, Surah Al Baqarah. The cow. The story of this cow is that there was a man among the children of Israel, a very wealthy man. His name was Amil. He was an old man. And he had nephews who were hoping that he would die so that they could get his money. So one of them went and killed him in the night and threw his body in the crossroads where the pathways come together. And it was said that his body was thrown on someone's door, like in front of someone's house. So in the morning... His dead body was discovered and the people were disputing and talking about that. And his nephew came, the one who actually killed him, and he started shouting and playing the role of a victim. So the people said, why are you all arguing and going back and forth? Go to the Prophet of Allah. So this dead man's nephew he went to the Messenger of Allah, Prophet Musa alayhi salatu wasalam. So then when Musa heard the story, he implored the people that let someone who knows about this man's killing step forward. But there was no one to step forward. So they said to Musa alayhi salatu wasalam to ask his Lord to give the judgment. So Musa alayhi salatu was salam, he asked his Lord about the judgment. And so Allah ta'ala revealed to Musa what to tell those people to do. وَإِذْ قَالَ مُوسَى لِقَوْمِهِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ يَأْمُرُكُمْ أَن تَذْبَحُوا بَقَرَةً O Muhammad, mention when Moses said to his people, Surely Allah commands you to sacrifice a cow or to slaughter a cow. They said, do you take us as a joke? We ask you about a dead man and you tell us to kill a cow? قَالَ أَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ أَنْ أَكُونَ مِنَ الْجَاهِلِينَ He said, I seek refuge with Allah from being one of the ignorant like yourselves. He's saying to them, 
I only say what was revealed to me. And I seek refuge with Allah Ta'ala from you insinuating anything other than that. And it would have been enough for them upon that what Prophet Musa told them to go and get a cow and slaughter it. But they were hard-headed people. And they sought to make it difficult on themselves. And so Allah made it difficult on them. So they started asking about the description of this cow. After there was no restricting description. They said, supplicate to your Lord, O Moses, for us, so that he clarify for us. How is this cow? Moses said, Surely God says, She is indeed a cow, neither old nor young, but in the middle of that. So do what you are commanded to do. They said, supplicate to your Lord for us so that he clarify for us what her color should be. Moses said, Indeed, God says, She is surely a yellow cow. Deep is her color, a deep yellow. Pleasing to the beholders. It's nice to look at. They said, supplicate to your Lord for us so that he clarify for us what she is. Surely to us all the cows are alike. And then after that, inshallah, we will be guided to the right cow, or it means, then we will be guided to know about the case of this dead person. Said Moses, God says, surely she is a cow. Surely she is a cow, not made subjugated to plow the land, nor does she irrigate the crops. Sound without a defect, without a blemish. Without even any trace of labor or work. And without her color having any hint of another color. She's deep yellow like it was mentioned, and some scholars said, even, because it says, La shiya without any other hint of a color, they said, even her horns, even her hoofs, should all be yellow, the entire cow. They said, now finally you have come with the truth. Now you finally have said enough. So it was said that, they didn't find this cow that has such very, very specific descriptions, except with a man who was good to his mother. So, when they found this man having such a cow, then they asked him, 
but he refused. So they enticed him with money. They wanted to give him the cow's weight in gold. He refused. And he didn't accept until they gave him 10 times its weight in gold. So then they purchased the cow and they brought it back to Musa. So he told them to slaughter it. And it was said that this nephew who killed the man, he was not very um, excited about doing it. So they slaughtered it and they were almost not going to. They had half the mind to not do it, meaning they were hesitant if they should do it or not. And then they took a piece of this cow. It was said to be a thigh. And they hit the dead man with that piece. So when they hit him, Allah made that man come back to life. So Prophet Musa والسلام, asked him, who killed you? Who killed you? He said, my nephew killed me. And then he identified him. And then he fell dead again. <laughs>